benefit from the refugee strike group here in school. And that is, we need to say that for you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for this strong, strong solidarity. And all the time, we are together. We are one. We are all freedom fighter for the right for human being and dignity. I need to say that that is why we are in the roof now. So that the people understand. We are now we have five days in the roof striking because of the system. Because of what we get for this system. Why this system do to us? We are refugees coming from different countries, from different places. And when we come here, we face the racist system. And we are in our country before we leave. We face the colonialism system. And when we come here, the capitalism system also do the shit for us again. That's why we say, enough is enough. The new is the new. And we start our resisting to get our right. Because we believe that we have a right and we can get our right by fighting. No one, and especially the system, they cannot give you something without your fight. Without you getting your right. Without you fighting to get it. That's why we start fighting. Especially now we are in the roof because if you remember the last election of Iranian Plus, we are sitting with a politician and talk. And the senator of Berlin and Mrs. Holland, she promised the people to help them to get paper. That's why they do the eviction of Iranian Plus. After four months of this, now nothing in this agreement is in the practical. Nothing. They don't do nothing. They only kick the people from Iranian Plus, and now more people in the streets, they don't get placed. And after that, they come back again by the same way to evict school. They say that the people from the school they have to follow the agreement and leave the place. And we say for them, we don't leave because we see in the reality what they do in Oranian Plus is only the shape and we don't need to follow the shape. If they cannot evict us and they go back to the lager. We are here, two years in the street, in running plus, in the school, in everywhere, we're fighting against the lager. Then how, how is politically ask us to go back to the lager? No one can accept this. We are freedom fighter, we are we can fighter. We cannot say one of our demands close the lager. And then we come back and we say, we go back to the lager. No, we say for them, no. And we say now, no more lager. No more lager. That's why we stay in the room now. We start with them talking. But all this time, five days, first, they keep all the bread away from us. They say for the bread, it's dangerous for them to go inside the school to meet us. And we say, what is? If really this is a democracy country, okay, we are refugees and we don't need to give us our right. How? What about the right of the press? The public, they have to know what's going on inside. They have, Germany, they have to feel shame about what you do. Five days, people in the roof. Only two days, they are asked to, to, to the people from outside to bring food for us. And all this time, under the pressure of the church and under the pressure of the press. What kind of humanity, what kind of democracy Germany talk about? This question, the politicians have to answer. Anyway, we say for them, enough is enough. Only what we need is our right. Only what we need is our right, no more. Because we know that if we leave this building, and waiting for this moment for Poland to face the control from police, to face the racist, to face every shit here, and no one can think about this. But if we get our right, 
we get our passports, we get our papers. We can deal with every mistake. That's why we say our demand is this right to stay for all. Give us right to stay. Not blah 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 blah. Enough is enough. We are tired of blah blah blah. That's why we demand the right to stay. Until now, we are in the roof and still we say we cannot go back without getting our rights. And they have to know that clear. And we say for you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you our neighborhood around the school. Thank you our neighborhood in Cosberg. Thank you Berlin. Thank you for showing you solidarity. And we say for them, to cannot evict movement. They have to remember that they cannot evict movement. The movement is not played. The movement is in our hands. Everywhere you go, you see freedom fighter for running class. Freedom fighter for our rights for the human being. <laughs> this is a movement. If they evict any place for us, they cannot evict the movement in our hearts. That's why we are strong. And we are more and more strong because of you. Because of your solidarity, because of what you are standing behind us to do this. So thank you, thank you so much again. And stay with us. Because we are all together, we are strong. We are in unity, we are strong. Doesn't matter what the car we have. Doesn't matter where we come from. We are at the end of human being and we need to live in, in love and peace. That's what we need. We don't need more. We are really don't need more. We are need to live in peace and love, nothing else. And if they, we get at this peace in our country, we are not coming here. But because of them, we are here. And now here also, they don't need to give us the right to live like any way in peace and, in peace and love. That's why we say, let's be together, let's stand behind each other, let's support each other, and we love you. We love you. Because you really showing the solidarity what we need. Thank you so much. Stay strong. We are strong because you are strong and because you are behind us. And let's save all them again who cannot evict movement. Thank you.